everybody, this is Mars bringing you another episode of Have Friends in High Places. We are playing the Battlefield 1 campaign, and we have... We started out stealing our plane from a nifty young gentleman who was, I believe, the first Earl of Windsor, or some something. Something like that. We stole a plane, and we ended up flying. We ended up discovering a British base. We told our commanding officer, and he was like, okay, yo, bro, let's go invade it. So everybody went and invaded it. We blew it to smithereens, but then we crashed in no man's land behind the German lines, and we had to make it back behind to our friendly lines. We made it back with our friend Wilson as we were carrying him along the way, and we were arrested at the site because we still technically stole a plane, and you know those people who just want justice for their crimes. So, we are we were on a prisoner ship tied to the rail, handcuffs, when the Germans initiated their air raid on London, which is a very significant historical event in history. Uh, unfortunately, I am a very bad pilot, so I'm going to have to focus primarily on flying, but if you would like to know more, I will put a link in the description, I hope you can go learn about this spectacular event and uh, become a history nerd like me. So let's get into it, shall we? Alrighty. Let's do it. We're pretty high up for just taking off. I followed his advice, it turned hard. And I'll lead those bullets. Alright, he's down. We'll find another one. Ooh. It's a new type of plane. That's one of ours, that's why we haven't shot at it before. Got London below us, they're looking up at us. Now, I don't think it's occurring that uh, all of these planes are going to crash onto the people below, but I think that's the least of their worries at the moment. I'm going to chase this outstretched guy right over here. Very hard to spot him. I can't spot him. I'm just gonna shoot him down. Alright, you're gone. And let's take a look at you. Yes, you're a very beautiful red plane from the German line. I almost feel a little bad uh, because Jugen is actually a German word for youth. We have a very high German influence here at Jugen, so please, as I am shooting these Germans down, please do not take it as I dislike Germany in its current state in 2016, I believe the month is December, because Germany is a very sweet place. Just they're attacking London, so we gotta deal with them right now. He's down. We have one more. And there he goes.
Alright, so we don't want those bombers to get over the uh, city. Oh, that works too. That's a very effective strategy. I never thought of that before. Well, we could just ram them. That's always an effective strategy. We're going to get really close to them and let loose. Start a repair going while we circle back. We are playing like some. I do realize that like I'm playing like some heavy duty uh, bumper cars with these people right now. Come up from the bottom. All right, we are going down. Start our repairs. And make a return. We're going to come right up and we're going to blast this guy. We're going to rocket this guy. We missed every single one. Okay. People of London are in good hands. There we go. Alrighty. That is a big gun. Oh my goodness, the amount of aircraft. I didn't see that. I thought they were friendly. Alrighty, we're just going to do strafes in between. Come up. We're going to do a quick turn. Over back here. We're going to come down. Trying to avoid these guns as much as possible. Start a repair while we're reloading. A quick turn. Strafe it on the side. Hello. Alright. Come up. Flip around. Alrighty. Now, will the machine gun kill it? I'm not 100% sure. It will. Very little, though. So it's not an effective strategy. Might as well just wait for the um, reload on the... What's it called? The uh, other thing. This blimp is not doing too good. 
have my experience from multiplayer. You can thank the uh, good ladies and gentlemen of Xbox Live for knowing how to take these things down. Alright, he's almost down. One more strafe should do him in. This is a peculiar situation. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die up there. You okay? We need to take out that flat gun. Okay, I've got your back. Seize the flak gun. So, uh, oh, hey man. Okay, so we're just taking a leisurely stroll on top of a blimp that's going to bomb all of our friends and family. Oh my. Hey, you okay? I'm good. I'm okay. Find a way back up top. I'll head around to the flat gun. Okay, I've got this. Man. New objective, seize the flat gun. So we are inside the blimp right now. Do we have to go down? Please tell me we don't have to go down. Wow, we got a lot of dead people. And a lot of bombs. Alright, do a quick reload. Everything's falling apart. Alright, I'm... Checking around every corner to see if. Hello. You scared the living daylights out of me. I'm gonna do a quick reload. Alright, we're good on health. Gotta keep going. That's how we do it. This is how you take down a blimp. Ooh. Hi. Oh, uh, that's another blimp. Explosion. Wow. 
Uh oh. Yeah, we should run. What now? Quite the plan. And that's my story. A selfish man who risked his own life to save another. And in doing so, found he was saved himself. Things get mixed up in wartime, though, and you'll probably hear other versions. A rogue pilot who stole a plane, who killed his buddy, then lied, cheated, and murdered his way across half the Western Front, only to escape court-martial in the chaos of an air raid. But don't listen to any of that. What you heard from me is the truth. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. Would I? Alrighty, well, we have completed our wonderful story of friends in high places. We didn't do many of the challenges. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, continue here. And we can see now that friends in high places is complete. That was a very good story. I, I gotta say, and I know, I believe we are almost halfway through we will be halfway through in the uh well the next one's actually only two missions oh wow that's gonna be short the next one is two missions so we will be halfway through in the next episode but i have to say that so far this is probably the best campaign i've ever played and i played the modern warfare 2 campaign and i gotta say this is probably the best campaign i've ever played and it's morally for the impeccable historical accuracy along with the amazing campaign because you got good campaigns and then you got campaigns that are historically accurate and not good and i think what battlefield has done here is they've achieved a very thin line between both and i think that's something really uh quick that they've gotten to achieve so i will quit my yapping because i'm sure you want to continue on to avanti sainanoi but that will have to wait until next time i am Marius signing off saying so long take care don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video